the word of God. Now they are only deployed where the word of God is. Every time we mention the word, the Bible says they, 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 they excel in strength doing the word of God. They make sure that the word of God does not fall to the ground. That every time you speak the word, that word will always be established. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. So we have to understand that we have an extra army that ministers in times of prayer. They are the reason how angels are deployed is also through fasting. When we are praying, we are accessing the human realm. When we begin to fast, we enter into the realm of the angels. And we begin to access another hand that is not of this world. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, angels are here. Angels are here. I said angels are here. I said angels are here to minister to your need. Every time you have a need and you begin to pray and fast and speak the word of God, angels begin to be deployed. Some of your angels are sleeping because you are sleeping. Angels are only strong when the word of God is spoken. When we look in the realm of the spirit, your angels look like you. They look like you. My angel will look like me. Your angel will look like you. If you are weak, your angel will be weak. If you're strong, your angel will be strong. Because they only hearken to the word. Without the word, they have no fuel. The word of God is the fuel for the angels. You can be with the best car. If you don't fuel it, it cannot take you up to Kawempe. So the word of God is what empowers the angelic realm. Praise the name of the Lord. So if you look throughout the Old Testament, it was all angelic ministry. From the book of Exodus to the book of Malachi, it is only the angels. Because when Christ comes, he says no man has seen God at any time. Not Moses, not Joshua, not David, not Elijah, not Elisha, not Isaiah, not Daniel, not the three Hebrew boys. No one has seen God at any time. But the only one that has seen him is the one that has come from the bosom of the Father and that is Christ himself. So the angels took Israel out of Egypt. The angels took Israel out of Egypt. The angels, they are the ones that caused them to inherit the land. They are the ones that enabled them to fight and have victory. 
Everything that they needed it is the angels that supplied. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the Lord told them in Exodus 33 that I cannot walk with you guys. You are too stiff naked for me. And Moses himself he says show me your glory that I may see you and God says no man can see me and live the angels are the ones that served so you can write these verses down for your, for your good Galatians chapter 3 and verse 19 uh, Acts chapter 7 from verse 51 to 53 that is one some of the many that you'll find that it was angels in the Old Testament that ministered to the saints even the law was given through angels according to the book of Hebrews it is only the New Testament church that has access to the true God it is us that sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. It is us that actually know him face to face. It is us that have tested of his goodness. It is us that know that he lives in us. It is us that know that we are in him and is in us. Hallelujah. Amen. So throughout the Old Testament, Jacob was wrestling with the angel. And the angel, ladies and gentlemen, was, uh, is the one that blessed him. He wrestled with that angel through the night. In the burning bush, it was the angel with Moses. Hallelujah. Amen. So ladies and gentlemen, angels are ministering to us. Paul and Cyrus, while they are in prison, the Bible says when they began to worship the angel showed up I said the angel showed up and delivered them out of the maximum security prison when Peter was in prison and they were about to kill him the angel came from heaven I said the angel came and touched him delivered him took him out of the prison Took him through the first gate and the second gate and the third gate that leads to the city and he let him go. Can I hear an amen in the house of God? So angels are ministering. Angels are ministering to us. As long as we engage them. They can be of great help in the things that we have no clue about. It is the angel that can position you in the right place at the right time. It is the angel that can connect you in the right path where the right person is going to stand. A friend of mine from the U.S., uh, Pastor Troy Brewer. When he, when, when, he was try, when he was coming from Texas to Uganda, he was supposed to have a stopover in London. God told him, in this journey that you are making, you are going to meet royals. You're going to meet royals. 
And he was wondering how this is going to happen. Now while he is crossing the road in London, the queen actually was passing by. And the queen actually began to wave in front of him. This man is just touring London. And at the right time, right there, the queen is passing by in her limousine and when she got where Troy was she began to wave to the people and Troy came to Uganda the people that brought him from the airport they told him we want to take you to the king of Toro we want you to meet him and God is working through angels positioning him at the right right time in the right place. Now people that do not deploy angels those are the people you hear if it was hit and he died. And the people that do not deploy angels they tell, let us give you a lift and refuse <inaudible> it. takes another one, it runs out of fuel. But the angel can put you in the right place. In the right place. And you meet the right people. Malaika. The angel. <laughs> you can be in a car when it has caught fire. A person opens for you and takes you out. The thing maybe has been a conductor. Yet it has been a real angel. Thinking there is someone else. Because they can turn into human beings. Tap to their name. Maybe you might be my angel. You might be my angel. Tell them may the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. You might be seeing them every day. But yet today they are angels. Hallelujah. Amen. When we read Daniel chapter 10, we see that even in this room, there are also some frustration. Even angels are limited because they have a rank. That if the angel comes to the earth, can find priests who are greater than it. They hold it and fails it to pass. Because the principalities they were also angels so that if they are in the third heaven they, they were chased from the third heaven and they were the Now that second Lirimu heaven has so many fallen angels they have their government it has so many labelers to make sure that you are not given aid by God. To make sure they put a boundary between us and the people in the heaven. To make sure that the angels don't come from heaven to come and help people. But the Bible has said we are seated with Christ in heavenly places. Far above principalities and powers. We are above them in rank. And when we begin to pray, we may be in the earth, but we are not praying in the tabernacle of the earth. We are praying in the tabernacle of heaven. The Bible says we have come to Mount Zion, the city of the living God, to the innumerable company 
company of angels to the spirits of just men made perfect. Hallelujah. Amen. We have come to Mount Zion. We could be here in Lugoba. But our spirits are seated in a very different place. You are not getting what I am saying to you. We are seated in Christ in heavenly places. So when we war. We are not warring according to the flesh. Ladies and gentlemen, the angels can be held. Daniel began to pray. And for 21 days, the angel was held. And he could not bring the answers of Daniel. Now, if Daniel had prayed for 20 days, Israel would have stayed in captivity. Because it was required of Daniel that, that he does not stop until something happens. So when he began to pray, he continued to pray. It is not only required for you to pray, but you need to continue to pray. You need to continue to pray. The Bible says rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God for you. Ladies and gentlemen, he continued to pray until the army released another general. The God of hosts released the army commander. Who is the army command of, 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 uh, of Ugandan army? Anyone know him? Is he? Yes. Oh, that's a hard name. That general, when they deploy him, you have to know it is a great mission. So, ladies and gentlemen, God released the body from heaven. And he came and rescued first of all the angel. And the angel went down to deliver Daniel's answers. And he began to deal with the principality. Because the angel Gabriel was supposed to go back and the man, the leader of the Lord's army had to deal with the principality. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is doing the same for you. The Lord is doing the same for you. If you do not put your foot down, you are going to fail in this life because the principalities are determined. They are, de they are determined to frustrate you. And you also have to determine and tell Satan you and your angels I will prosper. I will see the goodness of God in the land of the living. When the angels know you are determined, they begin to work. When Satan knows you are determined, he will leave you for a while. The Bible says when he tempted Jesus three times, he quit. He says, This one is not manageable. I will come back another day. Now, some of us are so obsessed with Satan. We are so obsessed with him every time we are seeing demons everywhere. When you, when you see a fly flying around looking for food, the spirit of flies. 
When you see dirty water, spirit of dirty water, fire. Everything. But you know that in the whole Bible, the devil confronted the three to four people. You are fighting demons. Stani Alumba Adam. The devil came to Adam. Yalumba Muchara were actually. Came to his wife. Omula Guya Dako Yariob. Another person was Job. Oksa to Yarius. The third one was Jesus. Awala Mugerako. Where they talk, another place where they talk about Baga him. Mambu ya imi ila masoga isira ili. They say he stood before Israel. Na kozi inga kabako kubala abantu. And caused the king to number people. Abala la fena. All of us. Tulu anisa miyoyo. We fight spirits. Tuli na rank emala stani kufayo jari. You don't have enough rank to cause the devil to come. You are not ranked highly devil to leave his place to come and confront you. And the time you see him, you know now you are a giant. Ah, whoa. There. You can carry the whole world. Is general. <laughs> the other one was a general. <laughs> doesn't just come. Every fight that will confront him. These men that I've spoken about. They had high rank. Job even told him that I've used in my man job. Now the devil can't send demons to Jesus. Because when the demons see Jesus, when they see him on the other side, they just flee to the other side. And they ask, what have we done to you? Why are you looking for us? He had to come. The tempter had to come. Because of time, let us look at the last rim. In five minutes, we shall be done with it. The last rim where God answers prayer is the rim of the sovereign will of God. It is in that rim. <coughs> it is in that rim. That God Himself shows up. <laughs> now, like the devil does not show off to everywhere. Even God Himself doesn't just show up like that. Because He gave you people, already, and even He gave you angels to minister to you. Now God himself to come and show up and I've gone to Nabulime. It is not seen or it is unusual. Praise the Lord. We seek God. Bible Gambia, God was in Christ. Bible Gambia, reconciling the world to Himself. Bible Gambia, He is the express image of His person. So we see Jesus on the pool of Bethsaida. When the man had a problem for 38 years, Jesus decides and says, this one, I'm going to put it to an end. Do you know why? 
The Bible says that the angels always descended. But this man could not be helped. And the Bible says that a man said people have not helped me. People when the angels come, they don't dump me in the pool. Now the Lord says the angels come and the man is not people surrounding him are yes, not and I will go myself. Now God it's like you see the bishop when things are failing he comes and says what has failed what has failed now tell your neighbor he has the last say your Lord the Lord has the last say Bible again even though my mother and father forsake me the Lord shall take care of me. When everything has failed, that is when the Lord said, let me go and see. He reaches down and says, what has The end has failed. He talks about the people, the people have also failed. He says, now you carry your bed. Your and we go. Your salvation has come. So while the system of God sometimes can fail, some Times the systems. Systems can fail. God knows how to come on the scene. And he comes the storm. Hallelujah somebody. Amen. I said hallelujah. When Saul had become stubborn. God himself spoke from heaven. God himself spoke from heaven. And said never should you touch the church. God himself coming out. Tell your neighbor that he comes himself in the name of Jesus. He comes by himself in the name of Jesus. Kati chino nzenchita encounter. I call this one and see Sinkano. Osobolo kusaba. You can pray. Na yeru ofuna encounter. But the moment you get and see Sinkano. Oh, wakatonda. Bavu demoguru. That's when God has come from heaven. O kutereza iba debigani. To come and put right whatever has failed. A encounter vera reset. That encounter is reset. Something works out like this and puts it in its right order. Neyenga, we know now we have to continue in prayer. But in all things, we know where you get because in the first phases of our prayers we are dealing with the wills of men the wills of men God does not defy the will of a man and if he tells you to do something and you don't do it he will speak to another person when you he fails to do it he will speak to another person that's why your prayers keep being postponed that's why you look at breakthrough and sometimes the breakthrough eludes you Sometimes you are about to enter into the place of your promise. It is like you are remaining with one day. You find yourself remaining with seven years. Now 
But when we continue, the angels also start intervening. Let us also intervene in this case. When they fail God himself after all Also comes and asks what has failed Raise up your hand wherever you are Father as, as we stand on this anointed ground We know that you are standing here with us we know how merciful and graceful and gracious that you are. We know that you answer prayer. As you have called us and to call you. That we may call your name. We are calling upon your name today. In every circumstance. In every condition. In every trial. In every temptation. In everything. We declare in the name of Jesus. That the Lord shall make a way. Where there seems to be no way. The God of Daniel shall restore us. The God of Nehemiah shall build us up. The God of David shall fight for us. Every giant of life, we command that you fall in the name of Jesus. I want you to say these words. I want you to say these words. Say divine life is flowing in me right now. Divine life is flowing in me right now. I live in divine health. I will not die but I will live to declare the goodness of God. Say I dwell in the secret place of the most high. In the name of Jesus. God is my refuge. I am not alone. Angels are keeping charge over me. No weapon formed against me. Shall be able to prosper. I declare and I decree. That I am protected from all evil. My steps are ordered of the Lord. I refuse to fear. In the name of Jesus. Say I will not fear. But I will be bold. Like a lion. In the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a mighty hand of praise. Give the Lord a mighty hand of praise. Give the Lord a mighty hand Let us continue to clap to the Lord. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate the Lord God Almighty. Give him a praise. Glory to God. Amen. You may get seated.